need to talk to you, Igor. This is important. What's going on? I've gotten word from Mathe. His scouts discovered a prison in the Red Forest. They just discovered it now? I thought you guys knew this place better than the mice. They discovered that an old Soviet bunker had been repurposed. It must have happened recently. Go on. We didn't know about it because there's no reason to venture out that way anymore. That part of the woods is crawling with lurkers and NAR goons. And Mantve thinks it's a prison? Exactly. Someone's being guarded there. Whoever it is, it could be important. I know it's a long shot, but I still think it's worth it. It's not heavily guarded either. Definitely worth a try. Do you think it could be your mum? No, I, I don't. I believe she's gone. I made my peace with it a long time ago. So, I take it you want me to check out this bunker prison? I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, and that is occupied elsewhere. Are you in? I'm not sure. My first priority is finding Tatiana. How is this going to help me find her? Tatiana, sure. Your buddies told me about your love story. I never pegged you for such a romantic, Kimanook. But hey, look, there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? You help me, you help Matve, he gets some information. I like cats too much to skin them, but maybe it's worth taking a look. Okay, so there's one thing I forgot to do, and it's a new piece of equipment. So if you make um, the Steam Forge, you can then make tactical armor and heavy armor. I just need a few plates. See, I can fill this thing way up. I think four will be good. Anyways, hello, ladies and gents. <laughs> kind of jumped on me there. Didn't really have a chance to record too much. All right, so let's go do this prison mission. Yeah, on the other side of the barricade. Oh, look at that. We only need to get one more guy. No, no, no. We still need two. We still need two. Okay. Um, see how Olga does there. I know you just want to do the right thing, but are you sure you're not wasting your time? You usually don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. This whole zone is littered with old Soviet bunkers and relics of the past. Why would the NAR be interested in any of that? I hope I got enough ammo. There we go. Jesus, what the hell? I just arrived in Red Forest. Great. Keep your eyes open and you should spot it. On my way. I just scared the ever-loving crap out of me. <laughs> huh? Huh? But the only good thing about fighting these lurker suckers. quick Chernobyl light obviously underground bunker oh, I've been down here I think before yeah I got burnt out Okay. All right. 
right, this way. Back by the train. We were just in this area. Uh oh. That's good because, oh, one of the dudes, um, Mikhail, I think he's the one that helps with. Intruder, open for <laughs> Did that other guy drop that? Oh, oh, there's his helmet. Anybody around here? Cool. Someone's got a laser scope. Don't quite have all the weapons and gear I did. Uh, sit down, boy. In a frickin' round. What is it on here? Ooh. Quick detour. Nope, if I've been in here. We got the shoddy. Bunch of shells, okay. Wow, that shotgun is like way tricked out. Let's see, let's put him there. And where's that gas mask? about the herbs cool I'm gonna be able to wind up building the rest of the stuff I need okay so where are we going this way 14 oh oh it's right here Olga I found the entrance watch out for guards they're probably close by of course oh wow where else would they be okay I got some close uh, close quarters Weapon tree. Uh oh, that's one of the things that makes it so I can't go anywhere. Someone's down there. Oh. 
Olga, I found something. A control panel. Perhaps it opens the cell doors. Oh wait, shouldn't you check the cell before you open it? Yeah. Take a quick look. And who are you? Hey, little guy. What are you doing here? This is no place for children. No kidding, old timer. Let me out of here before the guards come back. What's your name, kid? I'm Gleb. I didn't do anything wrong. Let me out of here, or my uncle will kick the crap out of you. Whoa, easy there, little fella. I'm not little. I'm already ten, you know. First, I need to know how you ended up here. What is this place? I was going to visit my uncle. He was supposed to pick me up in Slavutich, and this black van came after me. There were two big guys with faces like potatoes. They said that they would take me to my uncle, and they gave me a can of coke. It's supposed to wake you up, but I got really sleepy. They kidnapped you? When I woke up, I was in here. But I wasn't scared. I didn't even cry. Maybe just a little. I'm almost a grown-up. I tried to escape once by myself, but the stupid guards caught me and put me back in this cage. And, and one of them said, if you try and run again, you'll regret it, little rat. But I'm not like a little rat at all. Rats stink and poop everywhere. You're the bravest little boy I ever met, Gleb. I told you, I'm not a little boy. Who's your uncle? Someone important? Of course he is. He's a big shot around here. When he hears what happened to me, heads will roll. That's exactly what he'll say. Hmm, I wonder. Is your uncle in the military? He was in the army like my daddy, but mummy and daddy are both in heaven now, so uncle is taking care of me. I'm sorry about your parents. So, he's a soldier, eh? He's working on something big and important for important people, but I don't know what it is. You're a riddle wrapped in an enigma, my dear lad. I want to help you, Gleb, but I need to ask you something first, okay? Okay, okay, but hurry up before the guards come back. I hate them. They stink like onions and medicine. What kind of medicine? I don't know, but my uncle drinks it too. Says it's good for his heart. He always carries a small bottle of it in his chest pocket. Vodka. Very smelly. I see. That kind of medicine. These men, did they ever hurt you? Did they give you something? Shots, maybe? Or pills? No, they only yelled at me when I told them to let me go. Did they put you in a weird machine? Or give you chino uh, green crystals? No, never. Huh, curious. So you have no idea why they put you in that cage? They'd say I'd be collater... collateral? Something like the bear. Collateral, collateral. collateral damage. Maybe. I don't know what that means. They said that my uncle knows I'm here and he's coming to visit soon, but I bet they're liars. Poor boy. You've been through a lot. Can I see my uncle now? Please, please, please. Soon, kiddo. Just give me a minute to think here. All right. Time to bust you out of here. Thank you. I'll tell my uncle that you're a really nice person. Igor, look. If you think things through, you realize the lad is safer right where he is than out in the zone. Hmm. The problem, though, is that I'm going to have to... open it so I can go into some of these other areas. Like here, maybe. Ah, uh, damn it. What does this thing do? What now, Igor? Do you have any babysitting experience? The kid should stay in the bunker for now. Even if he's a prisoner, he's protected. He's safer in there than outside. How about sending him to Madface? You said it was reasonably safe, right? Not a place for kids. Everyone needs to know how to fight. What are they gonna do with him anyway? Why can't you just, I don't know, open that portal of yours and send him to your base? I thought about it, but it's too risky. He's too small. The molecular structure of his body may be irreversibly changed. Oh, jeez. In that case, I'm telling you, leave him right where he is. <sighs> I yeah, hate I to do agree. this, but Olga's right. I can't risk the boy's safety. Glib needs to stay here for the time being. He's got food and everything else he needs. You're making the right call. We'll take care of Glib later, when it's safe, I promise.
Sorry, kid. I can't believe that's all that there is down here. That is what we had to disable to get out of a situation recently. It does make you wonder where the guards went, or did I just shoot them all? Could be I shot them all. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to the base. Was that, huh? Discovering a secret NAR prison in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. I guess it pays off to follow every lead. If it wasn't for you and Madvi, we might never have found this place. It was nothing. It was the right decision to leave Gleb in the bunker. Trust me. I hope so. Ask Madvi to send somebody over there to check on him. We'll come up with a plan for our little stalker in the meantime. Okay. Oh, she failed. I'm gonna have a double ration. Everybody else gets normal. See if that can give me a little boost. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, she's over here now. Have you heard of cloud seeding? I've heard that it's possible. Why? Because it was used to save Moscow from the Chernobyl fallout at someone else's expense. The rain would wash down the toxic particles. The first cleanup operation was just two days after the Chernobyl disaster. Obviously, it was done in secret. The goal was to make the rain fall on smaller cities and villages in Belarus and Ukraine, for the cloud could reach Moscow. The little people suffered because of it. No one can even guess how many people died in the radiation-related diseases in the following <laughs> decades. Of course, the authorities denied it. They're still denying it even today. Every time I think about it, I wish I had one or two of those fuckers in the sights of my moss and nagget. I find that hard to believe. Naturally. I heard you were once a true believer in the system. It's not that simple. I... No need to explain yourself. It was a long time ago. I just hope you're smarter now. Those in power will always think of themselves first. Communism or no communism. Okay. I think Mikhail's the one that gives me the nice big upgrade. Let's What's see. What's Igor? Nothing much. What about oh, you? Guy. Still th yeah. I remember. Cash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, where is he? Hail and well met, old chap. Hi, Mikhail. What's up? Ever heard of Pamir? Yeah, we've heard this Sounds before. Familiar. Hold on. The, what? Uh, 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 mad what? Uh, Okay. Mikkel, you've been around. Perhaps of gathering and... Yeah. Twelve slots. That's what we want. Perfect. Let's do it. That way I can start picking up armor form. Listen up, Buttercup. There are many different skills you need to master to survive in the zone. Sneaking, spying, wheeling and dealing, stealing, eavesdropping, door guiding. <laughs> door guiding? Have you got a problem with that? Guiding clueless Westerners in search of cheap thrills is an honest and, more importantly, lucrative business. But stop interrupting. Where was I? Surviving in the zone? Ah, yes. Among the many skills a man needs in the field, one is particularly important for a noob like yourself. Would you like to guess what it is? Wouldn't dream of it. In that case, I'll tell you. It's the art of packing shit better so you can carry more shit around. You don't look impressed. I know it doesn't sound as exciting as jumping from helicopters or fighting ten opponents using nothing but your flying feet of fury. That crap is the special purview of our favorite soldier boy, Olivier. But imagine you have to smuggle three crates of your best rotka to an NAR checkpoint, and you only have space for one in your inventory. And why? Because you didn't pay attention when I was giving you some invaluable fucking lessons about packing. 
And now, you ruined somebody's wedding, their very special and important day, because there's not enough booze, and it's all your fucking fault! I... I'm sorry? But it's not too late to avert this catastrophe. Don't worry, the Pribyat Five have got your back. I mean, I've got your back. Just watch me arrange chemicals, scrap metal, ammunition, and mask filters like a 3D puzzle. If you run into any problems, I will be your tour guide. I mean, guy. Great! Looks like you're ready to save that wedding now. Alrighty, folks. Well, all we gotta do is crash now. We're gonna do things a touch different. We're gonna go out here and see what happens when we do. We need to talk. Here we go. Sure. Let's talk. It's about my mother. Rather, about what she found. I didn't tell you this before because I didn't know if I could trust you. I, I think I know why they took my mom. She was dangerous to NAR. It wasn't a coincidence. She saw something, even took a photo. You see, when NAR first came here, they pretended to be friendly. They offered free examinations to several sample shells, and even promised my mother medical assistance. It was all a ruse, of course. My mother was invited to their lab, and she ended up seeing something she wasn't supposed to. She was inside their lab? You should have told me about this sooner. Do you know what she saw? They were running experiments with Chernobyl light on human subjects. All volunteers, of course. Soon after that, people started vanishing, my mom included. Do you still have the photo? No, my mom always kept it on her. Is there any other proof to back up your mother's account? No, but I can't see my mother lying about something like that. She only ever had the Samuel Shell's best interests at heart. My mother was the least selfish person I've ever known. She wanted to help everyone who suffered from the Chernobyl disaster in any way she could. She paid the ultimate price for her kind heart. Now, uh, I have to find out why and make this right. I get it. Really. She sounds like an amazing lady. How can I help? I know it's a lot to ask, but I need to know what my mother saw in that lab. I need you to go to Lenin Square and get inside. There must be something there incriminating NAR. This will help your search for Tatiana as well. If she's in the zone, she must somehow be part of all of this. It won't be easy, but I'll definitely try. Okay. So, we will start right here in the next episode. Hey, A moment, uh -oh. please. I heard you talking to our she-wolf here. You don't want to go to Lenin Square. I don't think you're ready. Who knows what you'll be up against? I think I've proved myself quite capable, no? <laughs> you can harness the power of Chernobylite, an impressive feat. But what if they find a way to disable it? Can I disable their things? You're probably right. What do you propose? I'll do it. With a broken arm? Besides, we have no idea what we'll find. It's very likely we'll need my scientific expertise to assess the situation. I'm not a complete imbecile, you know. I can tell the difference between a centrifuge and a... I don't know, kitchen robot? Of course you can, Olivier. Don't take this the wrong way. But I still think I should be the one to go. Okay. You gonna say anything? Okay. Alright, folks, so we'll stop right there. Thank you for joining me. Again, we will do a, the She-Wolves mission in the next episode so keep your heads down your guns up and i'll see you again real damn soon